Hello everyone, it's Steve with After Owners Club. Uh, I'm recording this on October 5th, 2023, and gas prices are starting to come down a little bit. And it's a little weird because gas prices are still pretty high in LA. They're like 780 and 740 and then 626, 630. And then the cheap gas is you know high five dollars a gallon. Um but these are actually starting to go down and it's predicted that these will fall down further. But I always told my friends that I'd buy my car planning for gas to get to $10 a gallon. And they always think I'm crazy, but I've never been sad about buying a fuel efficient car. And um, I'm sure that many of you guys feel the same way. Um, but gas prices are not falling as fast as some other things. Actually, um, Tesla just announced that they've reduced their prices across the board. The Model 3 has gone down by about $2,000 and the Model Y as well. And so a Model 3, um, and Tesla prices are very interesting because the prices on their website are actually the prices you pay, unlike the prices of vehicles at car dealerships where many car dealerships are still jacking up the prices over MSRP. Um, hopefully that's going to come to an end pretty soon. But a Model 3 is um, eligible for the federal tax credit. And if you live in California, it's also eligible for the clean vehicle rebate. So this is about $39,000 for the base model Model 3. And then if you factor in the um, $7,500 federal tax credit, and that's for people that make under $300,000 um, a year, if you're married filing jointly or $150,000 a year if you're single. That is, um, most people are going to be able to take advantage of that because most people do not make over this limit. And then if you live in California, let's say that you live in LA and you're looking for a Tesla new vehicle and you have a family of four and you make like $100,000, $110,000, uh, you're going to get another $7,500 from the clean vehicle rebate program. So put those two together and you're looking at $15,000 off, that makes this essentially a $24,000 vehicle. That's actually cheaper than a Toyota Camry that's twenty close, you know, close to $27,000. So you can get a Model 3 for less than the price of a Camry and the less than the price of a reasonably equipped Corolla, actually. Um, and the thing that I think is dropping the fastest, uh, so gas prices are dropping very slowly, uh, Tesla prices are dropping and that's going to put downward pressure on the electric vehicle market overall because Tesla is the dominant player in the battery EV market. And I know that Aptera is going after a blue ocean um, strategy and there are going to be people that are going to buy an Aptera regardless of the price as long as it's not astronomical. You know, they're going to buy it for $30,000 and I'm definitely going to be one of those people. But when a Tesla is selling a Model 3 is selling for $24,000 for a lot of people buying an Aptera for $30,000 is going to be a hard sell. That's going to be um, difficult. Uh, now, obviously, people pay extra for sports cars and cars that they, you know, connect with on an emotional level or another personal level. Um, you can you can experience some price premium for that. And, you know, you know, people are paying $2 million for Bugattis and things like that. So um, obviously there are a certain subset of uh, the population that is not price sensitive, but the vast majority of the population is going to be price sensitive. And it kind of shows that not being involved with these clean vehicle rebate programs on the state and federal level um, is, this is a huge difference. It's $15,000. When you look at a $40,000 Model 3 and a $30,000 Aptera, then I think you can compete on price. That's that's a that's a reasonable price comparison. But when you're looking at a $24,000 Model 3 and a $30,000 Aptera, just this, this $15,000 swing uh, from rebates really, really is going to hurt them. Okay, last thing. Um, you guys remember that I had this video back on, this was August uh, 21st. Uh, 2023, and I was talking about VinFast Auto and how I thought that their uh, valuation was bananas. Their market cap was $85 billion at that point, um, which is more than the market cap of a GM and Ford, and I think that more than the market cap of Toyota. 
Um, that is crazy. And if, and since then, they actually went up higher. So here they were on August 21st at 1758. They actually went up to $82 on August 28th. And that gave them a market cap of close to $200 billion, which makes absolutely no sense. Now, since then, the market has come to their senses. There's been this precipitous drop. Now, if I had um, a little more resolve and could handle some risk, I would have shorted them at this point. I mean, I wanted to short them here and I, and that would have been scary because if I shorted them here and they went up to this, I probably would have gotten some ulcers. But since then it's come down and last trade was at 850. Market cap is down to 20 billion. Now, I thought that was a little weird because their price has fallen by about half from August 21st. So it went from 17 to uh, 850 and so that went down by half, but the market cap went down by three quarters. So it went down by way more than half because if you look back here, their market cap was 85 billion here. So I don't know somehow. Okay. There's two possibilities. Uh, Google was incorrect here. This is, this is wrong. They, they overestimated the, or did not cal accurately calculate the shares outstanding. Um, this says that there's 2.3 billion total shares outstanding. That would make sense. 2.3 billion times uh, 8.5 does give you a market cap of 20 billion, but 2.5 billion times 17 that gives you a market cap of more like 40 some billion, not 85 billion. So it's possible that Google was incorrect and thought erroneously that there was 4.6 billion shares outstanding. But whatever the case is, their market cap is a somewhat more reasonable $20 billion now, although I still I still think that's vastly overvalued. Um, my prediction is that this is going to drop even further. But of course, I'm not an investment professional and I have a terrible track record of uh, investment. So don't follow my advice if you want to actually make money. Um, but I, my prediction is that they're going to go down lower. We'll, we'll see um, if that turns out to be the case. But uh, mainly I wanted to talk about, I was very uh, surprised to see Tesla continuing to drop prices. Um, and a $24,000 Model 3 is, uh, from a, a value perspective, a very compelling value proposition. Um, you know, some people aren't going to buy Teslas because of their feelings about Elon Musk, but just in terms of value for the vehicle itself, um, $24,000, you know, I, I would make the argument that a Model 3 is a better value than a Camry at uh, $24,000. And that Aptera, unless the government advocacy group has some measure of success getting state and federal level incentives to make them competitive with the um, incentives that they put on other automobiles, they are going to have a very hard time uh, competing with these cars that get this $15,000 swing. Um, and so I hope that the advocacy group is successful. Um, and uh, I hope all of you guys continue to buy cars planning for $10 gas because I think gas is going to come down. But eventually, within the next several years, I, I, I think we are going to see $10 a gallon gas, at least in Los Angeles. All right. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think we're going to hit $10 um, a gallon gas? And what do you think the chances of Aptera getting um, some help from the government in terms of incentives is to make them competitive with other cars. And let me know what you think your prediction on VinFast is. Is it going to head lower than 8.5? I think so. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.